And folks, mild evening across the valley. Temperatures hovering in the upper 70s and low 80s right now, pretty much valley wide. Let's watch Future Track and see what it suggests for the late night and early morning hours. It says that tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., we're in the mid 70s. That's a little warmer than normal for this time of year. So a warm and humid start to your Friday. Then it goes up from there by afternoon. Really warm readings in the west, suggesting over 100 by lot in Rio Grande City. Future track keeping the rest of the valley in the mid to upper 90s. I think we'll probably reach the upper 90s in many locations. The exception will be at the beach and then Brownsville, maybe 90 to 93, something like that. Then let's go to Saturday. It gets even more interesting. We start the day again in the mid to upper 70s. Here's your timeline up here. Saturday at 7 a.m. by afternoon. Look at this. 105 McAllen, 104 Edinburgh, 105 Rio Grande City. And some of these numbers in the far west might be a little conservative. I wouldn't be surprised if in the western part of the valley we see a reading or two up around 108, 109 on Saturday. Rest of the valley pretty close to that, but maybe just a little cooler than about 81 at the beach. Going into Sunday, here's 5 a.m. Still temperatures in the 70s, but then look, the front goes through. We actually cool off through 9 a.m. We're upper 60s and low 70s, and then instead of being in the upper 90s or even the 100s, we're looking at temperatures just in the 80s for highs on Sunday. So pretty good cool down for Sunday, but even at that, a very mild day. The normal high, the average for this time of year, is 87. We'll be well above that tomorrow and Saturday. And then Sunday, we're below it. Then we go right back up again. Another front late Wednesday, early Thursday. Cools us back off closer to normal once again. Here's the rest of Texas tonight. Things are quiet across most of the state, with the exception of some rain. Up in the panhandle, there's a front up there, a couple of them, a warm front moving out, a cold front moving in. That combination kind of hangs up in North Texas tomorrow, so we're breezy at the coast. We're windy and we're rather warm. Saturday, we're even warmer. Here comes this front working its way across the state. Upper level winds kind of coming out of the west southwest. That is a hot flow for us. Lots of Texas, especially the northern half of the state, will see rain, probably some strong storms Saturday, Saturday night into early Sunday. And then for us, by Sunday afternoon, the front is through. It turns cooler and less humid. This model suggests the front comes through with little fanfare other than a pretty good breeze. You saw the other model last half hour suggested there could be a shower or thunderstorm at the front. If there is rain, it'll probably be first thing in the morning, maybe even pre-dawn, and then we'll dry out behind that. Drier weather for a couple of days, and by maybe Wednesday, Thursday, we'll be looking to the north for yet the next front. There it is. That could bring a shower threat Wednesday night, early Thursday, so we'll keep an eye on all of that. Your rain chances go from just a slight mention early Sunday to then Wednesday night, Thursday, our next shot at a few showers. So across the valley tonight, we're dry, humid, but dry. Partly to mostly cloudy, your low of 74. Then tomorrow back up to 97. Partly to mostly sunny, breezy, and hot. Winds out of the southeast 15 to 25 and gusty, especially at the coast. Operators of small craft urged to use extra caution. 103 on Saturday, but only 85 on Sunday. Back to 90 Monday. We start warming it up again by Wednesday. A late shower early Thursday morning. Last till then, a little bit cooler for Thursday. That is your updated first one, 540.